It's Madden NFL 24, and there's no love lost between these NFC South foes. It's the Buccaneers and the Dirty Birds, and it's coming up next. First opened in 2017, there's a look at the beautiful state-of-the-art Mercedes-Benz Stadium here in Atlanta, GA. Today we've got an NFC South matchup as it'll be the Tampa Bay Buccaneers taking on the Atlanta Falcons. Happy to be on hand. I'm Brandon Gunn with Tor We Kick. Partner, your keys to the game, please. Well, my keys are on the defensive side of the ball for both teams. And the big one, making sure you avoid giving up the big play. These safeties are going to get tested all game long. Their job, keep the ball in front of them, tackle people, make them run extra plays in order to try and score. The ball on the tee, we're set for football, and we are underway from Atlanta. Williams to return. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. So here come the Falcons now to get the football for the first time. Bringing them out, a guy who's top 30 all-time in yards and touchdowns. Not bad for a fourth-round pick back in 2012. Captain Kirk, Kirk Cousins. Not bad for a fourth-round draft pick. Well over 100 career starts now. And the chemistry with his top targets, really on point. They spend a lot of time in practice and after practice making sure the routes are run well, and he knows exactly where they're going to be on the field. And when they get open, he delivers. First play and a first pass for Cousins. A complete to Drake London. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. A good start offensively. It's on the game's initial play. Love this look to start the ball game. They empty the backfield right away. And that's going to put some early stress on both their offensive line and on the secondary. And here, they get the completion and a quick first down. First down. Here's Cousins. Yeah, to the right sideline. And it falls incomplete. So now second and 10 after completion of first down. A run for the first time with B. John Robinson. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. So they get that one, Charles, on the right tackle. Yeah, oftentimes at that spot, you're trying to work against a defender, trying to set the edge in the running game, and you're trying to drive around and get your body twisted so that he can't get there. Sometimes your hands get too involved. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. An early message that this secondary is going to be tested because even though it fell incomplete, it almost felt like a warning shot to get things going. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Cousins again. And that will be incomplete. And third down is a key down in any game you play. And third down defense, something we've got to watch in this one. Got to be effective on the passing downs. That's a pretty good first step right there. So on now is the Clemson man, Bradley Pinion, to punt this one away. Back deep for the Bucks is Devin Tompkins. Fielded just inside the 30. 
42-yard punt, six on the return. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And bringing them out is the top pick in the 2018 draft. Fiery competitor from Oklahoma, Baker Mayfield. And he's a guy who plays with a lot of emotion. He's learned how to channel it really positively because when he throws the football downfield and makes a big play, he'll be the first guy downfield to celebrate with you. But also when his team needs that confidence, when they need that jolt, they turn to him and he's ready to provide it. Now Mayfield and the Bucs come up on first and 10 at their 35-yard line. They start to drive with White. And he'll manage to pick up a down. Well, you don't turn your nose up at a gain of four, do you? They'll take that on first down. Playbook's got to be pretty well open on second and six. From the 39-yard line, here comes second down and six. Here's a toss right side with White. And able to get a couple as he's across the 40 to the 41. In today's NFL, you hear all the time about stretching the field and creating space in order to run plays. A toss play will help accomplish that because now you're pushing a defense to chase you all the way to the edges and to the sideline. That's a nice run, probing now early to try and get things done later. Mayfield looks to throw. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. First down throw for Mayfield, escaping the pressure right. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. That's the first time he's called his own number, but he's got to be overjoyed with the results. He wasn't just going to settle for a modest gain. To me, he was determined to come through with a big message to a defense that slept on him in the pocket. And just good downhill running there as he'll take this to the 15-yard line. Another nine there at a first down again. And that's a run that'll energize an offensive line. They'll take that one all day long. Fundamental breakdown by the defense. You've got to be able to make plays on the edge. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Opting to run again here with White. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. That O-line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to the linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. They'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. So they'll get nothing out of that play, and it's second and goal. If you're a wide receiver and they call a screen pass, you're counting on some people being out in front of you blocking. But that play was well diagnosed by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. And they got there and swarmed and finished off the play. So they'll go ahead and accept the penalty. Things made a little more difficult after the false start as they try again on second and goal. Working out of the gun, Mayfield. And he's got it! Caught in the end zone, touchdown Tampa Bay! Rashad White from six yards away. And the Buccaneers will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. They went five wide in that offensive set. And racing, going three wide's a big deal. To go five, how about the way that they finish things off? This car reference into the game? Zoom, zoom. How about the way that you play? When you go five wide, that means you're going fast now. Zoom, zoom indeed. Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game.
The Bucks ready for the kickoff. And here we go. It's in the air. And Williams going to sit on this one. It'll be a touchback. So for the second time in this one, we get set to see the Falcons offense. Over on to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Cousins now to throw on first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Let's phrase this delicately, okay? Might have had a better option instead of throwing the football into double coverage. He was blanketed. I was surprised that he went his direction. Yeah, should have thought maybe about the check down. Take the completion. Keep moving. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Throwing his Cousins. A quick throw there is incomplete. A couple of quick incompletions, and now they're just one more away from getting off the field. They've got options now. Could they dial up a blitz here or just drop everyone into coverage to crowd the throwing lanes? The threat of a second straight punt to start the game is looming as they come up third and ten. Now Cousins. And that's incomplete. Two drives won't tell the story of this game, but you absolutely have to like how this defense has played thus far. They have yet to allow this offense to get untracked in this one. On now to punt. Here's Bradley Pinion. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. And take it right on the 30. So possession goes over here on the punt. And they will take over first and 10. Tampa Bay, they're getting ready to set up shop here for their second drive. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7-0 lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7-0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 at their 35-yard line. Mayfield. The pass is caught by Kate Otten. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that will bring up second down. They run straight ahead here with White. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. And that's some good tackling there to keep him short of that yellow line. Yeah, defensively, all I'm thinking is that on that play, get me to third down. Get me into a position where I can make one more play and get my defense off the field. Third down and one. They'll try to pick this up on the ground with White. And a solid run here as he'll pick his way down to the 42-yard line. First down, Tampa Bay there, a gain of 13. Well, they're making a real first-quarter statement with a run game, no doubt. For those who remember old-school football, running it, establishing things, seeing backs find holes, get through them, they've got to like what they're seeing from this unit so far. Right now, they've decided to, as you've said, establish the run game, and they've been successful doing it. First down, here's White. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. From the 38 now, here's second and six. They'll try to throw here. Mayfield, it's caught by Mike Evans. And Evans will have a box first down as he'll get this down to the 30-yard line. It's a gain of eight, and it'll wind up moving the chains. Let's do this, man. So first and ten now from the 30. Play action now. Here's Mayfield. Incomplete.
Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. Now back to the ground game with White. And he works his way free all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone. It's a gain of 11, and the Bucs have a first down. One thing's for sure, this defense has to figure out how to stop the ground game. He's eating them up here in the first quarter. It looks like they have to go to different forces, aren't they? The conventional things aren't working too well. So I remember a coach of mine saying way back when, when a back's having a great game, you've got to get the ball out of his hands. See how far he can run without the ball. And what he meant was takeaways, knock it loose, because maybe you can't just stop him with just regular tackling. But if you're going to have a relay race, you're probably going to pick your backs and receivers to run it. But don't underestimate the conditioning of the offensive line. They're out there just dictating things, staying on the field, and keeping a long drive going. On second down, they'll run with White. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. The pickup goes for 13 and sets him up first and goal. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. White is into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. Some good running there at the end of the drive. He had the burst that set up the first and goal, and then one play later, he's in the end zone. Brandon, what I liked about that sequence is I'm not sure who made the play call, but they understood the situation, understood the momentum. A nice hard-charging run, give it right back to him and let him cap things off. McLaughlin for the extra point. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. So that one, a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it was Rashad White who wrapped the drive up with a touchdown run. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And Williams going to sit on this one. It'll be a touchback. Atlanta now coming out on the field. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Now Cousins. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. That was a classic example of trying to run with the ball without securing the catch. He was thinking about those rack yards instead of making the catch first and then taking off. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. First carry of the game now for the Texas superstar, B. John Robinson. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. The Bucs with an extra defender now in the secondary here on third down. To throw, Cousins. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's his first catch, and it'll be good for 15 and a first down. You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much-needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole. On play action, Cousins looking deep here for Mooney. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. They geared up and took the deep shot downfield, but it turned out it wasn't one-on-one -on -one coverage. Extra defenders in the area, and that one winds up incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. 
throwing. Cousins. Open man is Kyle Pitts, his tight end. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucs 35. Now we're going to get a timeout. Appears we've got an injured Buccaneer. Well, the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 35-yard line. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. First time these two have hooked up this afternoon, and it's a first down. First and ten, it's Robinson. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Vita Vea stopped that play in its tracks. Plays like we just saw there, that's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. And he'll get seven yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. But you got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. They'll come up facing third and five. Cousins. Pass taken in by his big tight end. Touchdown, Falcons! Kyle Pitts from 10 yards out. And the Falcons have got it back to within a score. A good tight end is a heck of a weapon for any quarterback, especially when you're able to create some mismatches. Sometimes they work against a linebacker. Sometimes they work against a smaller defensive back. But when they find it, they go to it, and it often results in touchdowns. Now for the point after. And that one makes it 14 to seven. A 10 play drive that time. And it was the tight end Kyle Pitts finishing it all off on the touchdown reception. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. Taken at the goal line. And he's going to be taken down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. Through one quarter, 14-7 our score. Second quarter now, and it's Buccaneer football. As they get set to start their drive with a first and ten. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. So for this offense, Charles, remember drive one made it to the end zone. Drive two resulted in a touchdown as well. Now they'll try to make it three for three. Yeah, and you know, they told us all week that this was the plan and this is what they wanted to execute. But did they really believe it would happen this well, this efficiently? I know they'll take it. And afterwards, they'll say, there was never a doubt in our minds we were going to be successful in this one. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. Now Mayfield. Winds up pushing him back 11 yards on the sack. 
And that'll bring up third. Oh, boy, he got a favorable spot there. The guys on the sidelines are raising their hands over their head and clasping their hands to signal safety. But the official marked it just outside the end zone at the one-yard line. Back-to-back -back sacks have this place in a frenzy as they line up again third and long now. They'll go up the middle with White, and he'll take this one up to about the six-yard line. It'll be a gain of four, but it won't be enough. It leaves them with a fourth down now. We often talk of situational football. Let's just call it team football. The defense did their job, got off the field, brought the punting situation, so they're turning the ball back over to their offense. You think those guys will get along very well right now? Of course they will. Defense helped the offense. Now it's their turn to take it downfield. On the return is Williams. It's a 42-yard punt, but eight on the return. And the Falcons are set up well to begin their drive as it'll begin in enemy territory already. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. Down inside the 40. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean or else they'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. Ball on the 39. Here's second down and seven. Robinson with another carry. Follows blockers there all the way down to the 23-yard line. It's a gain of 16, first down Falcons. And if his coaches are correct, we're going to see a lot more runs like that from this young rookie going forward. And you know slapping each other on the back up in the boots right now? The scouting department, because they really recommended this guy highly, and he's justifying their faith in him. Cousins hitting London coming across the field. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. And maybe that touchdown on the previous drive has re-energized this offense a little bit. They've been kind of sluggish until then. But they're showing signs of life here. And they get good yardage that time and a first down. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Algier, touchdown, Falcons. But just power football there down near the goal line. Give it to him. He's able to push his way across. Yeah, they run heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come in after report like they're eligible. But all they're doing is getting a good stance, blocking, and getting their runner across the goal line. for the extra point. Now we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. So that drive, four plays. And it was Tyler Algier capping things off with a touchdown. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Here's Devin Tompkins on the return. And he brings this out past the 20 to the 24. The Tampa Bay offense set to go again. And that 14-0 lead to begin the ball game, well, that's gone now. Time to regroup. I think even up two touchdowns, they knew this wasn't going to be a walk in the park, and I think that's why we would see the head coach going up and down the sidelines telling his team, let's stay with it, keep going. It's almost like, ooh, they were going to make their run at them, and they have. As you said, let's see if they can regroup and get going again. Now Mayfield and the Bucks come up on first and 10 at their own 24. Mayfield's throw taken in by Palmer. So just three completion there, and that'll make it second down.
Now him up the middle. This is White. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. Offensive line really didn't give him any room. Really, didn't they? And how about the wrap-up at the end of that tackle? Left no doubt the yardage to be found. The Bucks on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. It's complete. And he is first down as they're able to get the shit. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now a give to White. He'll take it past the 40 to the 41, second down. Well, sometimes as a running back, you've got to be able to improvise when the hole's not where you expect it to be. But in this case, there wasn't any improvisation that he could do that was going to work. But Mike Knight at the improv. Here's Mayfield. Over the middle end. Down to the 10. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Mike Evans. Fifth box have taken the lead. Well, that's a heck of a response to regain the lead after we had seen the touchdown to tie the game. I saw there was a great amount of poise because typically when teams tie the game up and they have to get yourself, they regrouped in a hurry, didn't they? Packed back after they'd been tied. And in a big way, that was a statement long touchdown. Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And the lead is now 21-14. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. From out of his end zone, it's Avery Williams. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Falcons ready to take over. And right now, we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on both sides, moving the football, scoring points. It's almost like somebody put the defense on rookie mode in this one. I mean, we haven't even left the first half, Charles, and we're certainly on pace for a shootout. An excellent start for both offenses. The fans have to be enjoying this to seeing all these points go up on the board. As a former defender, you know I'm not enjoying this at all, but right now, both these teams just trading haymakers. Let's see if anyone slips up first. Can anyone counter with a nice little jab and get things going in their direction? Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. On second down, another shot for Robinson. Only a couple there as he'll be brought down about the 28. And the box with an extra defender in the secondary now on third down. Cousins. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. And that's how you pick up a first down. Not only does he make the catch, but has enough body control to get his feet down inbounds, toe tapping and dragging to make sure he gets it done. On the counter, this is Robinson. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. It shows you right there, he can do more than just cover in the secondary from that free safety position. Yeah, the evolution of the position has really been significant, hasn't it? Because a lot of teams no longer have a free safety, strong safety designation. They just have safeties. So wherever the ball is, one can be close to the line of scrimmage, one can be deep, and vice versa. On that play, how about that tackle we just saw? Pretty nice. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there.
Here's Cousins. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. The punt team on now as Pinion sends this one away. And we shift to spotlighting Mike Evans. He's doing what he's capable of, having a solid game. Not, not the most amazing game. He's not over 100 yards, but a good game so far. And you just know that mentally, he feels like he's one catch away from turning it into a great game and starting on that road. And the defenders are well aware of that too. They've got to figure out a way to not let that escalate. Keep him right in this zone here and call it a day because otherwise he can really decimate them. Better believe they are well aware of his playmaking ability. Mayfield now looking to the first down to Evans on the slant. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. Ten yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. On a handoff, it's right. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. That good for 19 and a first down. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. They stay on the... And he's over the field and into Falcon Tampa. Clark Phillips there to... And that's exactly what you want. First down run, pick up five yards, bring up the defensive line, though. You got to wait out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. From the Fordix, here's the second and five. On the hate. And a pretty good burst right there as he'll take this down to the 33. 130 yards rushing for him now as his sensational afternoon continues. He continues to be effective running the football, a big reason that they have the lead. And I love one of the quotes that I read about him where he said of himself, I love it when a team just hops on my back and I just carry them along. On the give, it's White. And a five-yard gain as he's down inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. A quick throw caught by Evans out wide. They fall a gain of five by only getting one there on second down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. To throw, Mayfield. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. Third and four, he did just enough, and I mean just enough, to move the chains. And that's all you're looking for, right? Just want to keep the drive moving. You don't need the big play there. Just get that marker that you just... And he was able to do that. And I believe they buzzed down. They're going to take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I, I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Mayfield to throw it. Otten brings it in over the middle. And the Bucs are going to be set up with a first and goal here as the tackle made at the 9.
A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. Throwing Mayfield. And he hauls it in for the Buccaneer touchdown. Cade Otten, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Bucs have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Sometimes those tight ends are a mismatch. They found the mismatch there. And that's exactly why you want to draw up those types of plays because coverage is just going to go to the natural guys, the guys that make the big plays on the outside. But if you work your tight end into it, that's a tough one for a defense to handle. Tough. They couldn't handle it. It worked out for six. Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And the lead now up to 14. The box ready for the kickoff. And here we go. It's in the air. And Williams going to sit on this one. It'll be a touchback. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Cousins now to throw on first down. Short throw caught by Pitts, and he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Well, that's always a good place to throw it just because he's one of the biggest targets not only on this team but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large body tight ends and why not? Nowadays, they're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to block. Now coaches want them to catch the football first. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for a first down for the Falcons. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Our last chance. Let's ride out. Let's ride out. First down, here's Cousins. And incomplete on the deep ball. That was a nice job defensively of disguising their coverage and making it difficult for the quarterback to lock in on a receiver. And it results in an incomplete pass. Second and ten. They'll throw again, Cousins. This pass is caught by London. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucks 36. A good pick up there of 20 yards. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Working out of the gun, Cousins. And that will be incomplete with a clock showing 18 seconds now to go. Darnell Mooney, the target there. But it's going to be second down. They go play action, Cousins. Now that's to the left sideline and incomplete. Kyle Pitts, the intended receiver, and it's third down. Again, it's Cousins. 
And he is caught. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. This is first and goal and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. Cousins to throw it. Did he get the feet down? Yes. Touchdown. B. John Robinson in the final seconds of the first half. And the Falcons are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. These two teams in this first half, it's been fun. Back and forth, back and forth. Well, it's not fun for the defensive coordinators, <laughs> but offensive coordinators are enjoying it. Yeah, they're having streaks here, aren't they? Being able to put scores together and, and really bunch them up, and we have a tight game here. You know, we often talk about having the right shoes for the right turf. Today is track shoes, because that's what we've seen <laughs> with these offenses. Yeah, it's been an absolute track meet so far, and fun to watch. Four seconds, all that remain here this first half as the kick gets away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The final second ticks by, and that's going to do it for the first half of play. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. It was a solid first half for the running back, Rashad White. He found the end zone twice, once on the ground and once in the passing game, as he proved he's anything but a one-dimensional running back. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. And he will not bring it out. It's a touchback. Out come the Buccaneers. They'll have it first to start in the third quarter. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in the second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I'd keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. Mayfield on first down. And an off-balance throw there, and it's going to wind up incomplete. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. They run the draw play. This is White. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. 
I thought that was a good call. Passing situation on second down. They hit him with a draw instead and pick up nice yardage. Yeah, because the draw, they're thinking pass when they see that initially defensively, right? Well, you know in today's NFL, most of the time on second and long when it's a passing situation, pass rushers are on the field and they're only thinking one thing, get to the quarterback. And oftentimes you can bypass him with a running play. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? A lot of it's been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. They keep it on the ground wide again. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 156 yards rushing for him now as he's toted it 21 times. He had a really solid first half running the football and picking up where he left off here in the third quarter. How about the yardage he's piling up right now? This feels like a full game, not just a series that we're watching right now. I know people are screaming, where are the adjustments from halftime on the defensive side of the ball? Sometimes they're just not there. Sometimes you just got to find a way to tackle someone. Ball right on the 50-yard line. Here's the second down at six. Play fake. Mayfield. This is caught by Evans. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 32-yard line. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They run straight ahead here with White. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Back-to-back -back nice gains, that one for 14 yards and another first. It's been an excellent day for him running the football, no doubt, as he continues to soar well past 100 yards. Yeah, it almost feels like he can just grab his briefcase and head home after putting in a full day's work at the office, doesn't it? They go right back to White here on first down, and they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Jesse Bates made the tackle from his safety spot. Can we just take that run and turn it into a kind of a clip and save? Because that tells you everything you need to know about this drive. They've been moving the ball awfully well. Second and five. And now Mayfield on the bootleg. This is caught. And the Buccaneers are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. White will score. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Well, he'd been the workhorse on this drive, and it would have been unfair to bring someone else in to finish the job. So they go back to him again, and he delivers with a touchdown run. McLaughlin now to add the PAT. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So the drive goes 75 yards, 10 plays. And it was Rashad White who wrapped the drive up with a touchdown run. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And Williams going to sit on this one. It'll be a touchback. Here comes the Falcons offense. It's their first possession of the second half now. 
They make their second half debut here, and things are looking a little bit tougher now. You give up the points there, Charles, that touchdown drive on the other side, so now it's a two-score game here. Got to be careful. They certainly do, and I'm just wondering at halftime if those guys just looked into each other's eyes and realized what they've got to get done and come out a little bit more charged up because if they don't get some kind of points here, that next drive, that could make this a three-possession game. Now a handoff to start it out. Robinson. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Hey, it's not the most spectacular play, but I think most teams will take that every single time for the first play of a drive. Begin the series with positive yardage and set yourself up for a very manageable second down. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Now Cousins. That is incomplete. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Cousins. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man to play. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. That goes for a gain of 31. Well, as my dad would say sometimes, I'm just scratching my head here trying to figure out what was going on there defensively. How did you lose him in the middle of the field? If you're going to lose a receiver, make sure it's someone on the short side of things not deep downfield that can hurt your defense. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Throwing, Cousins. Throw left side, there's London. Touchdown! Drake London, 38 yards. And the Falcons have cut it back within a score. So a strong drive here to lead off this third quarter and gets him right back in this football game. And I think we can safely call that a statement drive because they had to be saying, we have put our best foot forward in the first half, but we certainly mean business now. Maybe a better term, a prove it drive. They proved it to themselves that they were ready to go. Coup now for the point after. And that'll cut the lead down now to a touchdown. A drive there of just four plays. And it was finished off by a touchdown catch from Drake London. Following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. And this taken in at the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Offense heading back out, and with them comes Rashad White. So a six-carry drive, the last go-around touchdown on the end of it. We'll see if they can duplicate that here. I think that they would like to. I know every runner that we've ever met would love to carry the ball more and more and more. In fact, we keep a ball in the booth just for demonstration purposes. You're holding it right now. I'm going to give it to you. Is it is it heavy? Is it that heavy? No, it's pretty light. It's pretty light, right? So keep <laughs> giving it to him and let him do his work. It's not going to slow him down. If it's light for me, it's definitely light for him. Throw right side, taken in by Godwin. So that'll be no better than an incompletion, and that'll bring up second down. Now the old pass completion for no gain, not something you want to call up out of the playbook too often. Yeah, most offensive coordinators don't have that on their play sheet, so they've got to go back and scramble after this one. But right now with what they're telling receivers about making sure you take care of the ball in open field, sometimes the fighting for extra yardage doesn't come as a result. That and good tackling can lead to no yards gained. Eluding the pressure right. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a halt. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. Here's Mayfield. 
He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Partner, the way this offense has marched up and down the field during this game, it's almost a surprise to see an incomplete pass at third down, isn't it? Yeah, they have had their foot on the gas all game long, but here finally stalling out. Here comes the Buccaneers punter now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it will be Falcon football. Time to get another look at Drake London in the Falcons' offense. Pretty good game for him so far. I guess he's still got time here to make this a great game, but so far, he's been solid. I like where you're going with that because it has been pretty good, but there's always that hint that things can really escalate for him. And right now, they, they feel like they're somewhat keeping him in check, but he has found the end zone once. But boy, he can explode at any moment. Yeah, and when you hit that end zone once, you want to find it again. <laughs> yes, you do. It makes you, get, you hungrier. You, you get greedy in a good way. 51 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Good, strong run against the 3-4 set. And that 3-4, you've got to have your guys up front eat up a lot of blocks. The guy playing over the center, the nose, he usually has to take on double teams. But when you're able to successfully move him, you're often able to get some yardage. And that's when linebackers have to clean up and make tackles. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. A gain of 28 yards there and give him a first down. Throwing his cousins. And he's got the hook up to Moore. And he gets his down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. From the 34 yard line, here's second down and five. Cousins. Got London on a slant. That, I believe, will put him over 100 yards receiving for the game. Yes, it will. And he's got a first down to boot. Play fake. Cousins. That's complete to the tight end runner. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Nice play call, a little bit of play action right there. If you can get those linebackers to freeze for just a split second, that's usually all the room you need in order to get it to your tight end. Now a second and two. Out of the gun, they give to Robinson. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive could take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Cousins now. This to picks, and he's got him. Touchdown, Atlanta. Kyle Pitts, a beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Falcons are an extra point away from drawing level. I know Paul Revere talked about by land or by sea, right? You know, one by land, two by sea. He didn't mention air because right now we're seeing a big-time performance, aren't we? That's two touchdowns so far in this game. Where'd you pull that one from? And, you know, every now and then I actually listened in history class. <laughs> and you're, you're just a scholar all the way around. You're reading all the time. I like that you fit that in the book. <laughs> you know, I just grab the nugget when I can. So all square here in this third quarter as the kick's away. Yeah. 
And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Mike Evans and the rest of the offensive unit heading back out there now. And I know that they've double-teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. Now Mayfield and the Bucks come up on first and 10 at their own 27. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. On the left side, a catch by Ray. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it'll bring up a second and short. Mayfield on play action. There's a short one taken in by Otten. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Seven yards there and a first down. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they've become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. First down, here's Wright. 183 yards rushing for him now in the afternoon as he continues to put a hurt on this defense. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. Here now, second and four. Opting to run again here with Wright. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. From Falcon territory now, here's first and ten at the 46. Here's White. And good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. That's good for a Buccaneer first, a pickup of 12 yards. Nothing too fancy, just a carry up the middle, but a successful carry up the middle against this 3-4 defense. And to be able to do that, what do you have to control? The nose guard, right? Got to be able to move him, otherwise you're not getting anything up the middle. Nice job by the center. Got a little help from one of his friends playing guard. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. But really, that was no surprise there. They've been running it well all game. And I know goals change all the time, but any team will take that type of run each and every time. Second down and four. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. This second and four. Back now in Atlanta. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. That's Zach Harrison who forced his way in to drop him. The drive had started well after a punt last time. Now it's slowed down a bit. And let's face it, they don't want to punt the ball back-to-back -back series. They want a sustained drive on this one. So third down, but you got to think they'd like to get closer, even in a dome with good kicking conditions for a possible field goal. Mayfield. And throw right side here, going to be incomplete. Well, that play was certainly a little bit different because on the previous play, he was sacked. This time, protection a lot better, had time to survey the field, and still couldn't find an open receiver. Here comes the Buccaneers punter now as he's on here to punt it away. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. Well, the Falcons back out getting set for this next drive. 
Excellent job by their defense to force the punt and provide them with this opportunity, all tied in the fourth quarter. He's going to go down immediately. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. And not a lot of success to be found there. Oh, you got that right, partner, because if you're trying to make guys miss about 10 yards or so downfield, that's a pretty good play. But if you've got to do it in your own backfield, I consider that a problem. That doesn't work too well. Second down and a run by Robinson. And they'll be stopped at the 28. On a play that started at the 14, they pick up 14. Defensively, they were in the 3-4. Solid run up the middle. What made it successful? Well, what you have to do is control the nose guard, but sometimes you don't do it by blocking him. You do it by influencing him. Get him moving to one side or the other and hit him back on the opposite. Cousins now to throw on first down. And his throw here is incomplete. Rondell Moore, the intended target, and that'll bring up second down. Play action, Cousins. You could tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. The Falcons on third down. They've had good success, five for eight to this point. This is third and 10 to throw, Cousins. And down he goes, a Buccaneer sack. Vita Vea in there to get him for a loss of nine yards, and that also leads to fourth down. Here's Bradley Pinion now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Fair catch signaled for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinators probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now. But let's face it, all of our friends who play fantasy, <laughs> they're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. Yeah, points certainly not at a premium here. Now Mayfield and the Bucks come up on first and 10, just shy of the 30. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And just not enough on the throw there, down around his feet and incomplete. This is a perfect example of what separates the elite quarterbacks. Has his man open, way too anxious, ends up firing it in there with way too much zip on it. The great ones, they know how to relax and put the appropriate velocity on the football. On second down, they'll run with White. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. Well, Brandon, he's had a great day, but sometimes the other guys make a play against you. What's that expression they like to use in the NFL? Those guys get paid too, you know. Yeah, in college they say, hey, they're on scholarship too in the NFL. They're getting paid too. With the day he's had, you can have one go in the wrong direction. away and incomplete. <laughs> Whether that's a little grabbing, a little hand fighting, by any means necessary on third down, he was able to get the job done in the secondary and swat that one away. Here comes the Buccaneers punter now as he's on to kick it away. Here's Williams to return. A seven-yard return following a punt of 45 yards. 
And the Falcons will be taking over first and ten. Atlanta now coming out on the field. The last series for them, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and ten. So they'll come up first and ten now from the 33. To throw is Cousins. Got him there, and it's London. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. An excellent way to start the drive there at 18 yards. Play action now. Cousins. Rush coming and he's taken down. Joe Tryon Shoyinka showcasing the pass rush. Pressure can come from all over when you're plotting a defensive strategy. On that particular play, it just came from the outside. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Now Cousins. His throw incomplete. Darnell Mooney the target there. And now it's third down. Here's Cousins. Oh, the bucket air pressure too much. Down he goes. Levante David making his presence felt in the backfield. Well, this is what happens when you get behind the chains, as people like to say, when you have obvious passing situations, hard to vary it up and fool a defense. And you hate those situations if you're an O-lineman, right? Oh, without a doubt, because you just know they're coming and you never know exactly how. They can be exotic in their blitzes or their athletic ability just takes over. And the Buccaneers getting ready to go as they take the field. Now, if you're a fan of punting, and I know that not many people are, but this game kind of turning into one for you. Well, it's okay if it's a skills contest, right? We're really into it then, but not during the course of an actual game. This has turned into a field position game, though. Sometimes a better punter may actually determine the outcome. Now Mayfield and the Bucks come up on first and 10 at their own 15. They'll start here with a handoff to White. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Some teams like to start aggressive to begin a drive, but this is still what you expect to see in normal situations. Just call a simple run, get a few yards to begin the series, and set yourself up for something bigger on second down. Here's second and seven. Movement there on the offensive line, a little quick, and a five-yard penalty. The crowd's not doing that O-line any favors. Home field advantage is really kicking in, making it very difficult for them to hear the snap count. And that false start penalty certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. They'll go up the middle with White. And they'll get him down here at the 23. Without the previous penalty, that would have been a first down. Instead, it's just a gain of 10. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance in guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to. And if you're in four down territory, that really opens things up for you. And he is going to have a box first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's not the first time they've looked his way when they've needed a big play. He's been the go-to guy all game long. And they get the hookup again on third down to keep this drive alive. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. They go with White on the counter. 
And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. You know, it's become cliche, but we have seen it and observed it. When runners have days like what we're seeing right now, they often take their offensive linemen out for stakes afterwards, don't they? They all go buy them dinner. But after a play like that, he might reduce it. Might go to the corner and just grab a hot dog or two, huh? Hey, I mean, they still been blocking for him well in this game. They don't get one mulligan up for him. Okay, so what we're saying then is we're going petite for way <laughs> instead of porterhouse. Eight like ounces. Eight ounces is good. All right, just check it. The Bucks on third down. They're hitting at 60%. Six out of ten thus far. This is third and eight. Now Mayfield. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 45-yard line. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. To throw, Mayfield. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. They had their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. That's out wide for Palmer. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Now whistles here before the snap. Looked like one of the Bucks may have moved. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. A field goal from this spot likely out of the question. They've got to get closer here on third down. Mayfield looks to throw. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Jesse Bates. And he will take it across midfield and down to the 45. Well, we say it often, Charles, but not all interceptions are created equally, and that is a big one here in a tie ball game in the fourth quarter. And Brandon, when games are this close, it usually comes down to the team making the fewest mistakes, and that was one of our mantras back at Tennessee. Coach Major say all the time, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. You've got to cut those down to give yourself an opportunity. Following the interception, Cousins. And this will be caught by Mooney. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. Robinson on a give right side. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. They were not fooling around at all, were they? Second and short, and they brought out the heavy package. Almost felt like the super heavy package against that defense, didn't it? Yeah, I don't think they expected that much beef up front, and it turned into an easy first down conversion. Back to Robinson now on first down. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. It's not a huge breakaway run, but if your starting running back finishes the game with averages of five or six yards per touch, you'll take that every single time. From the nine, second and five. Robinson with another carry. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Yeah, once 
more a strong running, excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. Here's first and goal. They've got it first and goal looking to take the lead here in the late going. Robinson is not going to get in. In fact, he'll lose a couple of yards back to the three. Partner, you've got about 20 coaches on your payroll, but there's 60,000 of them in the stands. I don't think any of them like that play. And the later we go, it's starting to sound like 100,000 in here. So they're backed up to the three-yard line, second and goal. Robinson will score. Touchdown, Atlanta. That score deserves our respect, deserves our excitement. But I'm looking at the clock and I'm thinking, there's a long way to go in this one. Ideally, they would have liked to milk a little bit more time off. Now on the other sideline, you start to get the crew together and say, this is what we practiced the two-minute drill for, right? Yeah, you hope you've been in that situation before. And if you haven't, you just have the confidence. Hey, let's go down there and get this thing done. But boy, that's a big score right there to give them the advantage. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. So Mayfield and the Bucks down by seven, a minute 14 to go. Needing to go pretty much the length of the football field as they have it first and 10. Here's Baker. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Work with me, partner. Take a deep breath, because that's what they're doing down the field now. That incompletion allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle, kind of scan the crowd, see if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit as they start this big drive. Another try, second and ten now. On the draw, here's White. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with a minute seven remaining. The sound reverberating here in the dome. This is third down. Mayfield. is going to be incomplete. With that incompletion, reality is staring them right in the face. This entire game is down to the next snap. Here we go. This is fourth down. Desperation time. Mayfield on fourth down. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds. Incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Falcons will take control of the football in great field position. So the defense has to stay out and get one more stop. They were able to do it, forcing the incompletion. So on their record, that goes down as a successful play. It doesn't matter how they got there, how it happened. They got it done. They're the ones that are jubilant. They're coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive.
Robinson up the middle. And he's across for the touchdown. And in the final minute, that should just about seal it. Well, this, of course, set up by the stop a moment ago on fourth down. And now that might be the score that puts this one officially out of reach. And it's a tough one because your hands are tied when you're losing in the fourth quarter because you know you've got to make something happen. They couldn't pick up the first down. And after that, the air just went right out of the balloon. And you knew you were looking at a defeated team. Two able to connect on the extra point. And the lead now up to 14. Well, they got the ball in great field position. One play later, boom, end zone. Following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Back now comes Tampa Bay. Well, Charles, you remember their last drive. They went for it on fourth down, didn't get it, but you understand why they did in this close game late. Now, though, the road back is even tougher. Yeah, no doubt about it. And it was fair to look back and say the fourth down was the moment where this one was decided. But as you mentioned, understandable about why they went for it. But, hey, a lot of credit to the guys on the defensive side of the ball. They knew they'd have to defend in that situation, and they got it done. Finds White. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Now second and four. Mayfield to throw. And his throw is incomplete. Well, you know they're going to look his way in the two-minute drill, but that time he was blanketed, and they forced the incompletion. May need some teammates to step up in this spot. This definitely four-down territory at this point, but a critical third down here. Now Mayfield. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Oh, I thought he had that one, and that was nearly a big third down conversion to give this drive some life. Instead, they're on the spot and help separate the receiver from the ball. The decision made for them. They've got to go. It's fourth down. Mayfield. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And it'll be a turnover on downs. So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about Slim and none? Well, Slim just left town on that <laughs> They're one. They're down to none? Yes, exactly right. The D can only stop it one more time as they take the knee. The Bucks forced to use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 35 seconds left to go. Cousins just going to take this one down to a knee and end it. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? <laughs> and the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team.
Well, CD, for the losing side, they had opportunities in this one, but big plays just didn't go their way, especially late, and they have to suffer the L here. It certainly felt like that takeaway once it happened. It knocked the wind out of their sails, and they just couldn't get their equilibrium back. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. It's a win for the Falcons here as we say so long from Atlanta.